Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to move in a little closer, you feel free to move in a little closer if you want. Uh, we are uh, celebrating the lighting of the Beaver Trail lights. Today is going to be the first day that they are going to be on, and it's a great project here for the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo. One of the things that we are known for here is the Birchwood Trails. Lots of people use them. You can see a guy just ran by us there, and uh, they're, part of the problem is you can't use them at nighttime, and in the wintertime it is very dark. One of our counselors, Councillor Phil Marr, is very well known for doing cross-country skiing, and I do believe he is one of the driving forces behind this. So we'll bring up Councillor Marr right now to do a little speech on the Beaver Trail Lights. So thank you very much, Jerry, and, and thank you all for coming. This is a, a monumental um, day for Birchwood Trails. Uh, we hope to get more of this. Uh, we, matter of fact, uh, at some point, Sometime I hope there's a 5K loop that's all lit uh, and has lights on it uh, for uh, those winter months where it gets a little, little darker. Somebody asked me when I came in the history of Birchwood Trails. The history, the trail system all started with Birchwood Schools um, school staff uh, back in 1974, 75, uh, led by people like Jerry Brenneman and Wayne McGill and Pam Joslin and people. Uh, they wanted a place for students to be able to hike and, and there was nothing here at the time it was just it was just woods and so they started hacking out uh, trails uh, and over the years those trails became wider uh, as a matter of fact in 2003 we built a, a new trail system called the Arctic Winter Games Trail which is down at the bottom of the hill and up uh, across the Raven Bridge but uh, it's 34 kilometers of, uh, of groomed trails in the winter uh, it's very easily you can very easily get lost in there now. We're, we're used to just, just to have one loop around, a 5K loop, but that loop has been joined by many, many trails now. Uh, things called Divorce Hill. Uh, if you start out with your wife at the bottom of that hill, you'll probably have a divorce by the time you get to the top. Uh, and that's way on the other side of the valley. Uh, wonderful stuff. But today, with this lit trail, and I've actually walked through here uh, uh, a few nights ago with, with my wife, and uh, now it's, it's still kind of dark, because we don't have the snow to get the reflection off of, but once it snows and we have the it uh, a groomed etc., it becomes just a, a, like Narnia, I guess. And even the lamps look a bit like the the lamps of Narnia. Uh, and it'll be lit the whole way through. And I know that our racing team, the Tarmigan Nordic Ski Club, club getting ready for the Arctic Winter Games next year, um, will be using this just about every night of the week. Um, a lot of us, uh, some of us hardcore skiers are out here at 4, 4.30 in the morning skiing and usually we have to put one of these things on our head and this is called a, a lamp, a ski lamp um, and we put it on over our our toques. We'll still have to wear the toques but now we can put the lamp away or turn it off when we go through this trail and it'd be so nice if we could turn them off for the whole uh, the whole trail system, but what this does is just adds more hours of, of skiing and quality skiing to our day. And um, I know the, the school kids, you probably won't s see the benefits during school hours, but we can always run a night school, as I, I told your teacher. So the, the trail here behind me has 17 lights. We could probably use 17 more um, because there is a fair distance between some lights, but it does give you enough light to, to ski comfortably and if there's something on the trail you will be able to see it like a branch or uh, you know a, a dog standing there uh, not knowing where to go. Um, the lights will be on I'm told from dusk till dawn uh, because there are people that get off shift uh, from uh, the plants at 8 or 9 o'clock at night and they may want to come out for a walk or just a nice leisurely ski uh, and it gives them that, uh, uh, that light to do it. Um, it's great to see the improvements of our uh, public recreation amenities that make it safe for the users and make it user friendly. And I'd like to thank the uh, Parks Department, uh, I, I believe it's, uh, is it Peter? Uh, Jeff yeah, Peter, Peter yeah, I've, I've met him on many occasions and uh, I always want to call him Dennis but I know his name is Peter. Um, and I know that uh, starting this fall as soon as we get snow and I'm hoping for snow, we don't go down below zero for a week or so yet. But um, I'll be strapping on my skis just about every day to go through this trail, especially at night. So thank you all for coming today, and I, I hope that uh, you'll bring your parents out or, uh, uh, you know, sometime during the next uh, little while, boys and girls, and take a walk through here at night. It is a Narnia-like experience, believe me.
So thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Councillor Marr. And you can follow Councillor Marr at Orange Lid, and you can see everything that he does on the Birchwood Trails. He takes some great photos, especially early, early in the morning. Um, we're going to continue on with the uh, ribbon cutting event, and right now I'm going to invite up the Director of Public Operations. This is Robert Kirby. Come on up here, Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Councillor Marr. My name is Robert Kirby and I'm the Director of Public Operations and what a beautiful day we have here today. But I think what makes it even more special is having the opportunity to participate in another ribbon cutting exercise. In, in, the, past three, in the past month we've had three ribbon cutting exercises for, so it's a great accomplishment from the public operations side. The paved trail along Cornwall and Woodland, Woodland Drive here is the corridor both for the outdoor gym and the ski trail. The trails are used extensively throughout the winter season by pedestrians, gym users, and the Ptarmigan Ski Club. The lighting of the trail will create the safety required for both user groups. Both user groups have expressed different requirements for the trail activities, whereby the pedestrians and the gym users require a cleared trail for safe walking, while the Ptarmigan Ski Club requires the trail to remain snow covered to set the track for ski events. The Ptarmigan Ski Club put forth, the light, put forth lighting the Beaver Trail as the possible solution. The Beaver Trail runs parallel to the paved trail, therefore the connectivity to the ski trails will remain in place and the lighting of the Beaver Trail will allow for the skiers to be able to use the trail set track while parks will be able to clear the paved trail to enable pedestrians to continue their activities safely throughout the winter. I also would like to thank our project lead on this project, which was Jeff Sweetapple from the Parks Department, for delivering on this project and the staff who also participated with him. As well, I would like to thank Pillar Contracting for completing the work on time. And I would all further like to thank Councillor Marr as well as the Mayor and Council for making this project a reality. Thank you and enjoy your new trail. Thank you, Robert. And uh, right after the ribbon cutting, if you would like, uh, and if you have permission from your teacher, maybe take a little stroll on down uh, the Beaver Trail as well and check out the lights. At this time, we're going to invite Councillor Marr back up here as well, Robert, and uh, we're going to get Jeff Sweetapple as well, the project lead from Parks, and we are going to actually cut the ribbon. So come on up, guys, and we'll make that happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we declare Everyone, the Beaver Trail lights officially open. <laughs> Another good news story for the RMWB. Thank you very much for coming out. Enjoy the trail. We have some refreshments here for you. Some coffee, tea, water, some donuts and muffins. Enjoy some community recreation guides as well. And if uh, there's anyone here from the media that would like to ask any questions, uh, feel free. Now is the time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.